guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, I do have a giveaway going on right now, so make sure that you look for that. I will link it down below because um, there's a lot of great prizes in there. Uh, I'm very excited about it and I'm so excited to be back filming. I haven't been filming for a while because school kind of got in the way and all of my other various responsibilities. Um, got in the way and I haven't had a chance to film for a while so I'm filming several videos today so you'll see me in the same shirt and the same makeup so I apologize if you get sick of seeing what I'm wearing um, I will be filming more later this week and you will see variety um, in the coming weeks as I get these videos edited and out today's video is actually going to be my Sephora VIB sale haul um, I went a little crazy, and so if you're interested in seeing what I got, just keep watching. I said I went a little crazy. Um, here is my um, bag that I got for being a VIB Rouge. If you went in on the first day, you could get it, and I went in, and it wasn't payday because I was very, so I was very broke and poor, um, and I, um, I just got this. I got like a sheet mask and this, um, so there's quite a few things in here. Those are for a different giveaway or different video actually. The first thing I got is I've heard so many good things about the Shiseido, um, the cottons, and I have not tried them before, so I'm excited to try those. I decided to get the big one because it's cheaper than buying the small one. So that was the first thing I got. I actually really focused on skincare for the most part um, because I had a lot of makeup already. Well, I've been been crazy this past year if I'm telling the truth um, so I decided to get some skincare that I heard was good um, especially I this first one is Sunday Riley I got the Sunday school set um, and in here there's actually four items there is and I don't have the one I've been really I've been using this um, oil cleanser that's what it's called and I love it. I've been wearing it so much lately. Um, and it's actually on my counter right now because I've been using it. And in this set is the Luna Sleeping Oil. They're very tiny. Um, like, very tiny. I do like that. It smells kind of like, almost like a wheat or a hay smell, which is weird to me. Um, but I do like it. I don't think it's... I don't know if it's my favorite piece in this collection. Like I said, I love the cleanser. I would definitely buy a full size of the cleanser. Um, I do like this. This is the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. Um, I think this is pretty good as well. Um, I'm trying some other things too, so I haven't. I'm reserving judgment on that one so far. But another one that I definitely would buy that I absolutely love is the CEO Repair Moisturizer. And both this and the cleanser smell like oranges. Oh, this is what it looks like inside. Um, and it's just, it smells like oranges. It feels so nice on the skin too. I just, I absolutely love it. I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's a great deal. Um, let's see, I had a couple bags that lost their little thing. So this one was a JCPenney um, inside Sephora. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so for inside JCPenney. And this is called the Blushing Beauty Set. So it actually had three full size items in it, and that is why I got it. So you got the little makeup bag. And then in here, I'm not going to swatch a lot of things because I got so much and I don't want this video to be horrendously long. So the full th size things I will show you a second. But the first thing in here was a NARS blush in Orgasm. And let me take off the sh So that is what it looks like. It's just a little one, but that will last quite a bit. I have another NARS that's this size, the um, VIB Rouge from last year. Um, the Goulet, I think is what it's called. And then the next thing that was a deluxe sample size is the Becca Shimmering Pressed the Shimmering Skin Protector Perfector and Pressed Opal. And that's what it looks like. And I actually have another one of this. So I'm thinking about putting this one in a future giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I also have some other things that I'm filming today that will be in a future giveaway. 
and I think you're going to be very excited. Um, so don't unsubscribe if you don't win my current contest. Oh, and the third thing, I'm getting ahead of myself, is one of the Tarte Glossy Lip Paints. So this is actually a gloss, and I will do the lips. And this is in the color Obby. So that's what it looks like on the skin. That is what it looks like. It's just a little one. And I have become obsessed with Tarte lately. I'm really excited to try that. Um, the other things in the kit, the full size items were a Lancome Definisils Mascara. And I'm not going to open this because um, I have so many mascaras right now and I don't want to like get any more open because then they just dry out. And then you got a full size beauty blender. This is the peachy or the light pink color. Um, you can always use, it has lint on it from the bag. Um, you can always use um, more beauty blenders. So I was excited to get that. And then the last thing in here was an Urban Decay um, shadow in the color Scratch. And it's just a really nice pinky color. So three full size items and this was, how much was it? It was 36 for all of that, plus um, the discount that you got during the sale. And like I said, I'm VIB Rouge, so I got 15% off of everything. I had to get a little organized um, because I have just things everywhere. The next thing I got is actually was actually on clearance, and I got some things that were on the sale rack at Sephora that I wasn't planning to buy um, because... Well, I wasn't actually planning to buy that blushing set, but I saw it and it was the last day and I was like, oh, I really want it. Um, so I did get that. Um, this thing was on sale. This was normally $42 and it was on sale for $31. And it is the Refresh Set Glow Set, um, another Sephora Inside Pennies. And in here, oh, this is the bag that it comes in and it has a little um, like clip so you can clip this on. Um, and in here, there's there's a lot of things. The first thing in here is a For, Foreo Luna Play, which retails for forty dollars in in by itself. And then there is a Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Mask, which I was excited about. This has become my new favorite moisturizer, and it is the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Let's see if I can. And I just oh, I love this moisturizer so much. I've gone through two of this size already and you'll see what else I bought that's from that. And then these are the Ole Henriksen um, Clean Truth Cleansing Cloths. And there's only 10 in there. So it's not like a full size. Then we also got, I love this scent. And I actually have another one of this that I got um, at Christmas because they had a set um, I got from Ulta and it is the clean rain scent I'm gonna smell it oh, it smells just it's it's very clean and that's why I really like it it's not overpowering at all um, then there is a better than sex mascara a little one which I will be putting in a giveaway because that's not my favorite mascara and I know people love it so I'd rather have somebody that likes it um, than me being like, oh, I don't like this mascara, but I'm using it because I have it. Um, sorry about that. I always turn my phone off when I film and I didn't do it today, which is of course when somebody actually calls me. Um, I can't, I'm gonna talk about this one again, just in case, oh. Um, this is the Setting Mist with Rosemary by Supergroup and it's actually a sunscreen as well. I don't know if you can read that with the, there you go. Um, then it also had a BB repair from Bumble and Bumble and it is a blow dry cream, which I don't blow dry my hair all that much, but we'll see. And then two little hair ties from Sephora. There are so many things in here. And then this is a sugar rose tinted lip from Fresh. So that is that one. And then the last thing in here, yep, last thing, is from Origin, it is the Ginseng Energizing, Energy Boosting Moisturizer. So that was a lot of things in that little kit and they're um, meant to be like things that you would use every day, I guess. Um, I think there's a lot of good things. 
I like to travel and this would be so much easier to travel with than trying to take my Clarisonic. So I'm excited about that. I just started looking through everything that I thought um, I brought and I just realized I don't have two of the items with me. So I will be having to add on to this film later on to add in a couple more things that I got because I went crazy. Um, I would like to say, I know we're like, Part way through but I didn't purchase all of these things myself um, some of these things my mother took pity on me and bought them for me because she knows I'm poor um, I'm actually an adjunct so I don't make very much and unemployment is looming um, I'm officially unemployed right at the moment but I wasn't unemployed when the sale went on uh, the next thing I have are quite a few masks uh, I went a little mask crazy because I wanted to try all these different things that they have. So the first thing is um, the rose eye mask from Sephora. And then I also got the pearl eye mask. And then these were on sale and that's why I got it. And it's a mask, hy um, instant hydrogel eye mask, depuffing and moisturizing with hyaluronic acid. And if you look at it, it looks like um, it actually like covers your whole like eye area so that's exciting to try and then I got this is one of my favorite masks but they're so expensive so I only got one it is the Dr. Jart clearing solution mask and then I also got I've been wanting to try this this is um, the egg cream mask by too cool for school and then I got the algae face mask as well Ooh, that does not look like the right color at all in my monitor um, then I got some points, um, some point perks I redeemed for a Laura Mercier, a little setting powder, um, very tiny, but for 100 points, because that stuff is so expensive. And then I was given this little baggie because the first store I went to did not get the back, um, the black bags in. So she was like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Um, so she gave me a couple little bags of samples. So this first one, it's like a coin per size. It's pretty little. And in here I got Ole Hendrickson Truth Serum, which I really like. This is the Coconut Skin Priming Moisturizer from Hello Fab, or um, from First Aid Beauty, which I've been wanting to try. This is just a little, what color is this? This, it doesn't say, oh, it's an opal. It's just a little one-time use of opal. There you go. And then also, this is an Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And there's four in here. Nude Matte, Nude Champagne, and an Anti-Aging Nude. Um, and then she also gave me this little bag, which is super cute. I like that it's see-through on the one side. And in here is a Makeup Forever black eyeliner, which I have a couple more of those, so I'm probably gonna put that in a future giveaway. And then a Lash Craft um, Length and Volume Mascara, which I probably will also put in a giveaway because I have another sample of it. Um, and then I also have this one. This came, this one came in, actually all of these have come in a Sephora play over the um, past year or so that I've had it. Oh, this is a, Gloss in pinup pink from Sephora, and then this oh, I love this primer. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Let's see if I can get it open. And this is a pretty good size sample, so that is what it looks like. And I actually, if you watch my 21 Days of Beauty, you will know that I bought one of those as well. And then the last thing in here is from Ole Hendrickson. It is the Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer, which sounds like their old moisturizer, but I don't think that was the name. But it's the same blue color, but they have new packaging. So it could be the same, it could be different. Let's see. It has a seal. I was hoping I could smell it through the seal. This actually smells different, I think, than the old blue one that I wasn't as too crazy about other people really liked it so I'm excited to try that as well um, moving on from the samples I got this was one of the Sephora um, whew, it is it is the sun bleach filter and it has that little like sun thing on it so it doesn't 
um, sun bleach filter that is what it is and in here there's a few different shades I thought that was a pretty nice like neutral very light palette um, it was on clearance for $15 plus the discount so decided to pick that up because that's a pretty good deal I also got this because they were cute and I we needed a beauty blender but then I ended up with the kit so I didn't need all of these beauty blenders um, this is the summer fling set of beauty blenders so you got the orange the lime and the normal pink my favorite cleansing oil Although the Sunday Riley now is giving me giving it a run for its money. It is the Josie Marin cleansing oil. That's what it looks like. It's a nice big bottle. Um, this lid though starts to leak by the end of it. I have a train case that I got that's guess so it was kind of cloth inside. And man, it leaked while I was on a trip and oh, it kind of smells like oil now. Like I'm trying, I need to put more baking soda in it and try to try to get rid of the stink inside of it because um, I don't want to get rid of that train case because they're pretty pricey. Um, then I I've heard so much good stuff about Drunk Elephant as well. So I got these two sets. They were sold out online and I went to my store and they only had like two of the night ones left. And this has two little bottles in it. They are very little. They're so... I love this packaging. I think it's so cute. But it has the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil and the TLC Frambus um, Glycolic Night Serum. So two little bottles in that one. And then the daytime one has um, two little bottles too. The Be Hydra Intense, Intensive Hydration Gel and then the Sea Firma Day Serum. I have not tried them yet because I've been I tried the Sunday Riley and I didn't want to like mix things as I was trying them um, so I will be interested in trying those really soon the next thing I tr got I splurged on this I was not going to get it and then I was like oh, I just really want it and it is the bite beauty um, a mouche bouche lipstick perfect pair you get two colors in here and they are rhubarb and thistle and Thistle is like this grayish color. It's very, very pretty. I like it a lot. It's a nice, like, neutral. I've been buying a lot of neutrals because um, that is a good color for teaching. And this is another good color for teaching, too. And it is rhubarb. So I got those. I'm very excited. I really like um I like the smell of Bite Beauty lipsticks. Um, and I think they're just really good in general and then here's where I kind of got splurgy with some well one more cheapy that is something that I use all of the time and that is the Clinique chubby stick and I got one of the Crayola ones because like the last day of the sale they went half price so this was $8.50 on sale and this is my favorite color this is um what color is it melon and it's just it's so sheer I don't know if you can you can barely see it right there so favorite color Clinique chubby stick was very excited to get that then one of my plans has been to do a colored mascara kind of like what's good what's bad because I really like colored mascara and I have found a lot of really terrible colored mascaras and the first one I got I am dropping things like crazy the first one I got um, the first like colored mascara that I tried I loved and I used it for like a year and then it was drying out and then it was like it's, I've been using it for a long time and I don't want to use it anymore just because it's eye health I don't want to go blind and I know there's like a certain number of women who go blind every year for eye makeup and it's not worth it but I did get another one when they went on sale and I'm kicking myself I didn't get it at Ulta because they sell it at Ulta too. And it is their Real by Benefit. Um, it is the blue mascara. Love this mascara. Um, it's a great, fun one. And then I decided to try, because I had wanted to try these when I saw them come out. And it is the Marc Jacobs um, Omega Lash. And this is in the color Peacock. And I have opened this, so I will, op I will show you. And I've tried it, and it works really nice, which it better, because it's like, 
$26 for a tube. So this is going to last me for a very long time because it is so darn expensive. Um, another splurgy one I got was, I, I looked at it and I looked at it and then I went to get something and then I went back and I ended up with it. And it's the Tatosh, Tatosh, Natasha Denona blush palette um, and it has the two blushes and oh, I just think they're so pretty <sighs> look at that <sighs> that's such a beautiful color although looking at it now I'm like it's kind of similar to the one from Colourpop that I wanted that was like way cheaper and then there's the second one down there I didn't do the best swatch so um Excited about that one a lot. Um, moving back to skincare, um, I got these. This is the Merry and Brightening set from Clinique. So it was the Christmas set that they still had available, and it's the same price as just buying the Hydro Blur moisturizer. So I decided to get this set instead. So it is the full size Hydro Blur moisturizer, um, 1.7 ounces. And then also in here, Sorry, I'm trying to keep my recycling as I open all the packaging. I'm like, cardboard here, plastic there, because it's all going to be recycled afterwards. Um, if you've watched any of my empties, you know that I'm a huge recycler. Um, it also had the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream and then the Pep Start 2 in 1 Exfoliating Cleanser. I haven't tried those, but you know, for free, I'm excited to try those. Um, then I got from First Day Beauty, this is their Red Clay Cleanser, and I really like this. I think it's a great cleanser. I had a sample of it in my Sephora Play earlier, and I used it, and I really liked it. I like it almost as much as the Maraud that I have, the Maraud Acne um, Cleanser, so I'm excited to try that, or to get a bigger size, and then also came with a um, bar soap which I'm not the biggest bar soap person for my face, but I will use it because I have it. All right. These were, um, the rest of these, I wouldn't say they're quite like impulse buys because I've had my eye on them for a long time, but they are definitely like not in the budget or what I was planning to get. Um, the first thing is pretty big. Hang on. That was a really beautiful up close of me. Sorry, because this was underneath the camera. I got the pineapple trine case. I don't even know. It is all on the camera. This thing, I've been wanting a trine case, but they are a hundred plus dollars, and I don't have a hundred plus dollars for makeup storage. Um, and then they went on clearance, and I had three of them in my loves list, and then they all sold out just before the sale started. And I was like, ugh, okay. And for some reason, this one appeared again on Monday, the last day of the sale. So I grabbed it right away and then it was like out of stock immediately. And I was like, I got the last one, yay! So this is what it looks like inside. I just got lipstick on the bottom. Um, so that is actually a handle. It has a big strap that you can um, use. There's the little toggles. And then it also has a key. So it has lots of storage in it. I am so excited to get this because, like I said, I've been wanting one of these for a couple of years, but they're so expensive. Um, and then I, they went on sale and I was like, I'm just going to wait till the 15% off because that will help a lot. And then it was gone and then it came back. So it was meant to be um, very, very excited for that. Pick up all of my stuff. Sorry. Then... Um, this was on clearance, so I picked it up. It is the gem and the holograms palette from Sephora. And I am literally the biggest gem and the holograms fan. I have loved it since I was little. Um, my dad used to record it at five in the morning every day for me so that when I woke up, I could watch it. Um, that was like preschool age. Um, this is what it looks like. It's magnetic and then it's all like, it's smooth, but it looks all glittery. And then inside, it has a nice big mirror, but it also has all of these amazingly fun colors. So I got all of those. Um, I do have this palette. 
because like I said, I'm a Gem and the Holograms fan, but I am a collector. So this palette, when I got it, was like sitting there. It's not going to be used. I have the whole collection of Gem and the Holograms from Sephora. I have like so much Gem and the Holograms stuff. Um, it's kind of like my Alice in Wonderland set or Through the Looking Glass from Urban K and Gwen Stefani. Those are like some of my favorite things. And so I picked up pieces to actually use like separate second sets. Um, so my, I have a first set that's all like in its boxes that will never be used. It's a collector's thing, um, which might be weird to people. Um, but this one is to use because this was on clearance. So I was very excited about that. Another thing that went on clearance and was sold out by the time the sale started was the Too Faced and Kat Von D Better Together set. And I, this was the one that I was more interested in. And it comes with the little bag. And on one side it's Too Faced, on the other side it's Kat Von D. And then inside here you get four items. Let me take out the paper. You get two lippies from Kat Von D. Um, and they are, this one is the color Muse, so that is that brown lipstick. It actually is really pretty. Yeah, that is an awesome color. And then the second one is XO. I think this might be an exclusive shade. Oh my gosh. It's like blood. Ooh. So that is it right there. And then from Too Faced, and I have used these, they are very, this one is very bright. This is the shade So Happy Together. It's a love flush blush. Um, and then you also got the Candlelight Rosy Glow. This is a duo. Ooh, there you go. Um, so this set was on sale for $19, half price, which I didn't think was too bad. And then... This was also on sale when I went to the store, and I was like, well, I guess I'll get it, because I was kind of looking at it. Um, so, like I said, Better Than Sex Mascara is not my favorite. So here is a full size that somebody is going to win. I'm probably going to do, like, maybe an end of summer giveaway and have several mascaras and eyeshadows and stuff. Not eyeshadows, um, eyeliners, maybe some brow products. And then also it came with a Kat Von D liner. And I haven't decided, I don't use liner that much. I know I have it on right now. My latest 30 and 30 is on eyeliners. So I am wearing eyeliner, but I don't use it that much. So I might be putting that in the giveaway too. But this is what the palette looks like. And it's magnetic, so you can pull it apart. And the Kat Von D side has six colors. And this color here, I love the, I love the shimmers. And this is like, an amazing color. I don't even know how to like describe it. That's what it looks like. Let's see. Maybe I'll put it on the inside. You're not going to be able to see it, but it looks really pretty on camera. Not on camera. In real life. My goodness. My brain is like, I need to get, drink some coffee. Um, and then the Too Faced side looks like that. So it has a light color, a nice um, this is looking more purple on the camera, but it's more brownish color. Um, so I didn't think that was bad for half price. And the last thing was also on clearance and it was something that I had been thinking about. I had it on my loves list for a while, um, but I hadn't got it because it was expensive and it was not my first choice from this collection, but the first choice was even more expensive. Um, so Marc Jacobs, I got, this is the, um, Oh my gosh, I just threw the box down. Object of Devi Desire. So it has this nice little tassel on it. And inside it has not only that, but it has a very thin um, thing that says Marc Jacobs on it. And then that it has a um, bronzer, highlight contour, or not contour, blush and six shades in here. And it was on sale, and so my last day when I was like, oh, I'm getting the train case, and my mom bought me the train case, by the way. Um, she also paid for this one, which was very nice of her. Um, and I do have, as I said, I have two more 
that I will film tomorrow. So um, I will finish this video then. Hi guys, I am back. As promised, I do have two more items that I got at the Sephora VIB sale. Um, the first thing that I got was actually a gift set. Um, it was the La Vie Est Belle um, by Lancome perfume set. So in this, it came with the one ounce um, perfume and then a body wash and a body lotion. And this was an amazing deal. Um, so originally, like it says it's a... I don't know if that will show up a $90 value but it was 69 at Christmas but it was on clearance marked for 4140 but actually it was $41 and 40 cents off so it was only like 20 something with my discount and everything it was like 23 I want to say so I was really really excited to get that um, really great deal it smells really nice I like it quite a bit um, and then the other thing was my splurge for the sale um, this is a Lamarck lip creme, uh, liquid lip creme or cream, and I got the color Shush Blush. That's kind of blurry. There we go. Um, and it's just a really nice color. This is what it looks like, um, and I'll swatch it. The doe foot is just like a normal doe foot, but the color is so pretty and I really like it I will be doing this this I put it in my 30 and 30 for um, April and so look for that because I will be giving a review of that so those were just a couple more things that I hadn't had with me um, when I filmed the first part of this video so thank you so much for watching um, let me know what you got at the Sephora VIB sale um, or if you did a video because I love watching those videos so very very much and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!